today's video. I'm Trust and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to create and edit uh, files on your PC. Um, usually, you can use Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop on your PC, making use of the respective tools that you're supposed to use with them, which is Adobe Illustrator or maybe Adobe Photoshop. But this particular tool is going to help you to create, edit and do more on the particular platform online without making use of Adobe Illustrator. Now, you do not actually need to install this application. That is actually the fun part. And there are other applications that does this, but this tool actually do it the best. Now, to access the tool, just go ahead and type in this on your URL. It's actually called uh, PhotoP. So go ahead and type in PhotoP.com and you hit enter. So this tool is going to help you to create a PSD format um, Word and AI format. AI actually means Adobe Illustrator and PSD means Photoshop. Now, um, XC.SD means um, Adobe X uh, Design, SD Design, and this is Figma, this is Sketch, and this is PDF, RAW, and any. What RAW means is like creating a RAW file. Now, you can create, edit, and do more. Let's say you created it with an Adobe Illustrator, you can still edit it making use of this tool. Or let's say you created with this tool, you can create and edit making use of this tool. Before I show you how to edit a created file, I'm going to show you how to create a new project. Now to create a new project, all you need to do is to click on new project. Now when you click on new project, it's going to load up and show you information like this. On default, it assumes that you do not know much of what you want to create. So it's going to recommend you to use most of these tools. Now, if you do not want to use all it's recommending, you can actually create your own. Now, to create your own, if you look on this top area, it has a project name where you actually enter the project name. So I'm going to call this um, flyer. I'm not designing a flyer. No, you know what? Let me call this um, a tune uh because i'm going to be creating a tune instead and then i'm going to give this a width and a height so i'm going to call it i'm going to make it 1080 by 1080 pixel i'm okay with the pixel i am trying to use it in pixel if you don't want this in pixel you can click on this and select your um your exact size that you want to use and now i'm okay with the pixel and i'm okay with the 720 but you can always change this to 300 for a more bigger and a more better image now if you want to change the background you can click on this background area to choose a particular background i am always okay with transparent because i like it transparent now if you click on the drop down you're going to see one more option that is actual rgb and adobe rgb and uh, pro photo rgb just choose any one you think that you actually want but i'm actually okay with this um srgb you can test out the other ones to see how it works now if you want to start creating with this um, custom setup you can click on create but if you are unaware of the size of the image that you want to create you can look to this recommendation under the social area you can go you are going to see facebook pages facebook shared image events different things instagram post and instagram story when you scroll down you are going to see even more like youtube thumbnail uh youtube profile youtube cover and a lot more you can also click on the print to see their own option uh click on photo to see photo size click on screen to see screen size and mobile to see mobile sizes and ads now there are even more but i don't know what to spend too much time doing this i'm actually trying to create this on a blank um, image or any blank slate so I'm going to click on create now when you hit create it's going to create and create a blank image for you you can zoom in and zoom out with a shortcut on your keyboard Control plus and Control minus on your keyboard now if you are okay you can start working now I think I'm okay with this like this and every tool you want is right here the uh, file to give you a lot of information the edit to give you even more image to give you even more um, tool to edit your image this is actually layer option gives you everything select file windows more you can actually create an account if you want your design to be backed up to the cloud if you create an account your design is going to be backed up and saved on the cloud but i do not actually recommend that to you guys always download your design so that you have it and there are even more tools right here including css 
there is this tool that helps you to um actually arrange your property this is actually brush tool this is test tool this is paragraph tool and this is a css tool that is if you are working on a web design this is actually a layer area channel part you should be um, you should be aware of these tools if you are making use of photoshop or let's say illustrator it always has this particular area where it gives you your layer tool now let's come to this area these are all your two the peak two the marquee two the magic wand the uh, scale the uh tool to designing which is your brush healing your brush is right here and your um eraser to your uh, uh, gradient to everything is right here you can make use of anything you want but then i'm just going to create something very simple in this video so i'm going to click on this to actually select my uh, shape tool that is actually a rectangular shape tool and i'm going to make it a color yellow and i'm going to draw a rectangle over the stage okay that did not draw I think uh, I am having a network issue this is actually using your network so if you are using network to do this just know that this uh, <laughs> this is becoming weird decide to just flow me so um, I actually wanted to draw a perfect uh, rectangle that is going to cover the screen but it didn't work so I'm just going to scale it so um, after drawing I used uh, my shaping tool <laughs> To actually scale it this is actually a scale to do so uh, you're just going to click on this check icon to check and my move to is actually selected transform tool is active now I'm going to draw another rectangle sorry I'm going to draw an eclipse this is an eclipse I'm going to draw this on stage and I'm going to choose a different color for it because it's an eye so I'm going to use the move tool to make sure that it's selected I'm going to duplicate this before I duplicate this, move this to on this area a little, copy paste, and then move it, uh, making use of my, I'm making use of the shift tool to actually get something uh, perfect. So I think I'm okay with this area, and then I'm either going to duplicate it again, and bring it towards this down area, and then um, while the transform tool is active, I am going to make this big, like so bring it down a little bit uh, scroll move it a little bit downward to this area and then I'm going to use um, this uh, part to or this edit part to to actually edit my part so uh, make sure you have it selected yeah click on the area you want to edit I think this side move it down like so and expand expand and there I have a mount so um, done with that I'm going I'm just going to use this pick to click outside um, to confirm and yeah it's actually a mount but it's not perfect so I can still shape that bring that down a little make that smile and I'm going to draw another one making use of um, another eclipse just do something little this area and I'm going to color it a different color my pick tool is selected right you know what choose the shape to make it red and use my uh, don't use the pick tool use the shape tool again sorry this is a patch tool click on it move it towards this area This might not be perfect guys because i'm not trying to i'm only trying to show you guys that this actually works so you can move this any way you want i think that should be fine then i'm done so if you're done designing all you need to do is actually to save your file to save your file click on the file area and then click on save as psd now if you save it as a psd hold on guys it's loading so I'm going to call this at then save. So if you save it as a PSD, what it actually means, you're saving it as an editable file, which means you can always edit it anytime. So let's assume I close this, um, I open the new tab and I close the old one. So um, 
have it close on the new tab i am going to type um, photo p and then have it open so photo p is open and i want to edit the file i created so i can go to my folder area and then pull out that file should be it should be loading so go to my phone or my download area because that's where it should be and this is the art you notice it's created to delete this is the time so all i need to do is to drag it to this area if you do not want to drag it just click on um, this area where you say open from computer and it will open and you can notice my file is editable right nothing is actually wrong so um our file is still editable we can still edit it and guys this is actually what i want to show you and if you have any question leave it on the comment section and before i round up guys let me go ahead and give you guys a quick um a quick hint and more things that you can do so like you know everything is already created right and you are okay with it and you want to actually have it saved and um, active on your device right now you want to have this saved and you actually want to have this as your own work you can always click on s to have it saved so let's assume from a different person's work right i'm going to cancel this that's a mistake so if you want to have this saved as um, an image that you can always come back um, if you want to have this saved as an image that you want to upload online all you need to do is to click on file and then you click on export you can choose image or png so if i choose um, jpg sorry i said image or png i actually mean png or jpg so jpg is actually the most acceptable file online you can change the size if you want you can change the quality to 100 percent to give you a better quality if it's 100 percent it's going to give you a better quality if it's on 70 percent it's going to give you a reduced quality now this is on 100 percent and you can see my image display right here i can review it by double clicking on it right now apart from that guys more things that you can do you can actually edit you can see it's active you can actually edit an image that you want to reuse um, that you downloaded online so i actually downloaded this image or let's say you have an image uh um an illustrator tool that you have online and you actually want to have this you want to actually make use of this i actually have this particular job um i worked on and i want to make use of it so this this is the job right there let me go ahead and zoom in so that i can see you can see that it's saved as um, ai right ai means adobe illustrator so bring in that ai file right here or whichever file it is so far the file is supported right here it can open so this is an adobe illustrator file this is my background and you know i can change background right so like you see choose your tool and choose your color okay sorry guys the image is not yet selected this is a patch click on it um, so that you have it selected i double clicked instead of clicking and i can choose a different color right here and then i can do the same thing with the other object guys do not forget i did not create or edit the file this file was originally created by somebody else not me i downloaded this image online guys uh credit to free i actually got this image on free so that i can use it to work for you guys so i have this image selected um to change the color all you need to do is the same thing click on shape to and i'm going to give this a yellow now you notice it changed to yellow i can give this a different color that i want just to make sure that i get it accurate so once you're done you can click on your pick tool and you can also select a different place to work on so choosing different place to work on is actually going to allow you um freedom to actually do editing that you want you can see i can remove this man's face and um, change the okay uh, i'm trying to change the shape of the head so that you guys can see but i think i selected the wrong tool let me be sure and click on this patch and see i can change this face so um guys you can do anything with this tool and once you're done you can go ahead and save it but now the only thing is that whenever you try to save a file on this tool is usually saved with psd 
PSD is also editable, which is Photoshop document. So if you save it on photo as a Photoshop, you can edit it also in Photoshop. But um, if you only have a Photoshop, if you only have Illustrator on your laptop, you cannot edit this on a laptop. So um, I hope this video is helpful. Please let me know if it's helpful on the comment section and I will see you on my next video. If you have more question, you can leave it on the comment section. And there are other tools that can do this, but I think this is actually the best one and it's free that I've found so far. And really, it's amazing and you can do a lot of things with this too. So if this video helped you, don't forget to smash like and subscribe to the channel for more video. I will see you guys on my next video. Let me know if there is any changes you want made on my content and hopefully I'll be able to resolve and change to that. Thank you and see you soon. Peace.